Hello, this is Alex with Grow How, and today we're getting rid of Puncture Vine. Now, whether you want to call it Puncture Vine, Puncture Weed, Goat's Head, it doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff, and this is what it is. Um, there are a number of things that people think look like this. Uh, in the spring in particular, everyone's looking, I've got puncture vine, I've got puncture vine, and it's got a purple flower. Um, and it just doesn't start in the spring, it doesn't start in April, it doesn't start in May. You're going to see this maybe end of June, July, certainly August, probably into September. Right there, get it? We've got that yellow flower. If I haven't got the yellow flower, it's either immature or it's purple. It ain't puncture vine. You notice the leaf. It's what we call a compound leaf. Right above my finger, that's all one leaf. And those are little, what we call leaflets, you know, little parts of a leaf. And when you start looking at it, you see it really well up against my hand. It's really got a distinct pattern. You notice it's um, just a little bit furry. Um, the stem's furry too. If you look down here, you can see the start of a seed. And that is what is going to give you all that heartache and pain. Now, getting rid of this is a pain in the tush. This is one of the reasons why I don't begrudge chemicals. It, it's difficult to get rid of. Um, it spreads by sticking in your shoes. Now there are some folks that are going to tell you, oh, this is nature's way of keeping the area protected so it can recover. Bull crap. Uh, I have seen this growing. Uh, you'll see it right here. It's growing flat along the ground in areas where I have had, um, in areas where I've had, ooh, look at that. This one's getting some nice seeds on it. Well, it grows along the ground. It kind of clings to the ground, but if you have, heavier foliage or heavier vegetation, it'll actually crawl up that vegetation and get some height. So this is really just one of the difficult weeds. It spreads easy. It's only an annual, but it can take over a whole area and destroy it if you're not on top of it. Now, again, this is one area where I say, this is what sprays are made for. Now I am gonna get my tools of destruction here. I've got, just your regular, everyday, ordinary um, kitchen garbage bag. You can do this with a heavy duty garbage bag. And uh, these things still might poke through if they're too ripe, if they're too mature. I'm gonna raise this camera a bit, just a moment. Now you see my victim down there, center screen. I'm gonna take my garbage bag and I'm gonna take a shovel. Now you'll note as I put the shovel down, it's level with the ground. I'm skimming the top of the ground. One thing I want to do is be careful not to break any of those seeds off. And then I'm going to just spear through the stem. And there, it's now in the bag. Now there's a reason why I choose the bag. The plant I dug up is immature. Seeds are not ready yet. But if I cut that, it's gonna send a message to the seeds, to the plant, get the seeds ready, we're dead. And no matter what stage they're at, they're going to accelerate their ripening. So when I have something that's flowered and has seeds on it, I want to dig it out as I showed you. Not really digging, you're slicing it off the top. The root is now dead and put it in a bag so you don't spread seeds. Some of those are probably gonna break off. Do your best. If you try digging at standard, you're gonna cut through one of those top stems and you're gonna leave something behind. So if I go straight just up and down, ooh, I'm gonna dig that out. You're, you're gonna cut something off or you're gonna lose something and you'll propagate the problem. Um, I've removed all the seeds. None of them fell off on that one because I got it soon enough that they weren't right ready to fall off. Now I'm back here uh, at the house. 
uh, my camera overheated. Uh, welcome to yard work. These things are not made for what I do. Um, now I mentioned uh, pesticides, using pesticides, but I showed you digging. Uh, pesticides will have the same problem as if you dig it and just leave the top. If I spray it with Roundup, the plant gets the message it's sick and it puts all its emergency resources into developing those seeds. So if you can get it before it flowers, you'll be okay. If you can get it when it's in flower, you might make it, maybe. Uh, as soon as you've got a seed set on there, as soon as that flower is pollinated, you're done for. You're gonna get a seed out of that. So you cannot do this entirely by chemical if you've got plants that are mature enough to have flowers on it. You just can't do it. Um, it may prevent further seeds from forming, but you're not really going to take a whole lot of big chunk out of the population. And that's one thing you're looking at. This is a long-term procedure. You're not going to get rid of puncture vine in one year. You will not do it. Two years, probably not. Three years, you, you might reduce the numbers a lot if you're on top of it. And each subsequent year after that, you can reduce the amount. But these seeds are woody seeds. They're, they're going to take a long time to break down in the soil. I don't know life on these right offhand. But I suspect it's fairly long, and if you're like a lot of us, uh, your patches are right along the sidewalk um, or on the side of the road where people, bicycles, animals track them in. And so just keep keep that in mind. It's something you have to be vigilant at. But if you're vigilant and you put the work into it, then all you have to do is walk around with a shovel once a week on a small property that's easy and eliminate stuff. Um, if you have any questions, uh, well, that's what the comments below are for. Uh, please subscribe and um, please hit the bell if this is something you want to get notification on. And, uh, you know, I'm going to mention my camera overheating. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if you're willing to join a Patreon page. I don't think I've got enough followers now to be worth a Patreon page, but I'm exploring the possibilities. That way I can upgrade to a real camera. Part of my problem is I just got a really hot camera case. Um, didn't think about this when we got it. Um, I may have to modify this so it's more reflective. But a, a newer camera, a real camera instead of a cell phone, it's good, but it doesn't do everything. It may be an asset. Maybe there's other things you'd like to see. If so, again, let me know in the comments and, and if this is you know, something that's valued to you that I can upgrade and get better quality equipment and better quality audio. I know a lot of people complain about audio. Let me know if you're willing to help pay for it. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm really got enough followers yet, but if you guys want to do it, I'll do it. Um, I think that's the only house cleaning item. And I just want to thank you all for coming out. Uh, see you later. Manana.